Pandora lead mine. This entrance would normally carry water up to chest height, but today the water level was only waist deep, allowing and permitting easy entry into this secretive underground world. Very quickly we found decorations forming within the tunnel. Echoes of an ancient and past goblin activity still reverberated around us. And yet, the formations here were stunning. Further along the tunnel, milk teardrops clung to the ceiling. A small spectacle, but holding its own beauty and charm. Even beyond here, the mineralization of the rock and the formations were relentless as we passed deeper into the underworld and we met more and more of these wonderful decorations. Water was actively passing through the walls and ceiling and the flowstone was so imposing that we could not help but be captured within its awe. Patterns ran down the walls of the tunnel, the colours of which were truly amazing. We arrived at a crossroads. Here we stood above another level. The level below was flooded up to our level and could be up to a hundred or two hundred feet deep. And the floor here was dangerous. We passed across carefully. Heading straight on, the old railway lines were still visible under the water. Although it was not long before we came upon a collapse. Passing one way around, we found the passage flooded almost to the ceiling and we decided not to venture that way. On the other side of the collapse, the tunnel continued, but now both the ceiling and the floor were suspended and comprised wooden planks. This was dangerous, and again we decided not to venture further in that direction. We headed back to the crossroads and took what would have been the right hand turn.
The passage here continued for a long distance, and the walls were adorned with colours, beauties and enchantments. So also were the floors. Pools of minerals had formed into an underground landscape, not yet seen by mortal eyes. Even the ceilings were coated in mystical formations of white manna and minerals with contrasting red lying at its feet. As we walked along the tunnel, the walls yielded their secrets and once again the passage was filled with magical decorations with both beauty and terror held within. Close to the end, we happened upon several chutes, now all but defunct, except for one which still carried the shaman waters through this underworld depths. And then the tunnel once again overwhelmed us with its secrets. But now we had reached our journey's end and reluctantly we headed back out amid the echoes of the goblin terrors that once held dominion in this deep dark place.